So as the solar eclipse was today and all over the internet, people were having different perspectives on it. Apparently NASA had like two satellites go up that were named after demons. Um, I was hearing about um, just like the science aspect of a solar eclipse and also how it's like end time prophecy. And it was just a lot of information at once. I don't know if you guys ever get overwhelmed where you guys just see so much information on TikTok or YouTube every single day and you're kind of like, well, what do I believe and what do I not? And I always try, I always do my best to match the information given to me to the Bible because that's my source of where I go to learn everything. And I was watching like a few clips of people talking about the end times and the solar eclipse and what their connection is. And this is one of them. Happening next month could fulfill a 2,000 year old. This solar eclipse happening next month could fulfill a 2,000 year old Bible prophecy. On April 8th, a once in a lifetime solar eclipse is going to plunge certain parts of America into total darkness during the middle of the day. The shocking part is this eclipse is going to be passing through eight towns called Nineveh, which is the city recorded in the Bible where the prophet Jonah warned them about the wrath of God to come. This will also be taking place under the constellation Cetus, which means the whale. As many of you know, the prophet Jonah was swallowed by a whale before being spit onto the shore to go preach repentance to Nineveh. Jesus says in Matthew 16 4, a wicked and adulterous generation seeks after a sign and no sign shall be given to it except the sign of the prophet Jonah. Ancient history also shows that right before Nineveh repented in the Bible story of Jonah, there was a total solar eclipse called the Bur Segal Eclipse, which was one of the astronomical phenomena that caused an entire pagan city to repent from their pagan practices and turn back to the true God Yahweh. This solar eclipse was also engraved in ancient Syrian archaeological findings, further verifying that an astronomical event took place during this time. America has abandoned God and fully embraced perverse secular values, and this eclipse very well may be a sign from the heavens that the doors for repentance are closing. This solar eclipse. Hmm. So that was there was a lot of information in that one video, and this there this is a a verse that when I was watching this, I thought of it. Um, well, actually, he mentioned it. It's Matthew 16, 4, and this is what Jesus said. An evil and adulterous generation seeks for a sign, but no sign will be given to it except the sign of Jonah. So he left them and departed. And he could be talking about our generation. I mean, we are an evil and adulterous generation, and we do seek for signs a lot. We seek for signs of Jesus as Jesus coming. Like, there's multiple prophecies, multiple times people are like, oh, God's coming in, the, in this lifetime, and our, in our generation, he's coming, but only the sign of Jonah will will come and obviously we don't necessarily know what the sign of jonah is um despite of what like people speculate i was searching up um like the, the definition of the sign of jonah because i was kind of confused and it's the, it, the google says jesus gave more detail about it when answering the same request once before for just as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the great fish so will the son of man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth so I um, didn't understand necessarily what Jesus meant that he would be in the heart of the earth. Um, and I'm, and I could mean of like the time when he came and he was crucified and he rose like three days and he was in the heart of the earth during that time and he rose so he that this could have already been fulfilled it truly is a mystery it says the sign the sign jesus re refers to is not mysterious sign of jonah in the whale's belly but the sign of repentance which jonah preached to the people and which the queen of the south with all her finery accept accepted um they listened to the word of god this is a new sign of jesus so this could be something that god is this is um god is using this eclipse you know because he uses his creation for us to come back to him for for us to you know for this generation to turn to their wicked from their wicked ways and to come to him the way that happened in the time of jonah where he went to go preach to nineveh and people came back to him and so that could be a reason why this eclipse is happening and i feel like this could be a warning for a lot of people and a way not to put fear into someone because we don't want to always any ever put fear but there is a fear of god which is the beginning of wisdom and if people start seeing that this could be a sign of god coming back they will turn to him through the solar eclipse um 
in the bible it says in the last days god says i will pour out my spirit on all people and when we look now we see that there's so many people who weren't christian who didn't know god coming to know god like big nick and then um gideon you know there's so many examples i feel like i've seen more youth come back to god in this day and age more than ever and it's been amazing um this is but i feel like obviously it's april 8th and nothing has nothing's happened i think some i feel like i see so many um videos on like prophecy and sometimes we have to be careful of like who we listen to and um we have to make sure it applies to the bible this is also another one of like that i watched that helped me um realize that i should not be fearful of the end times World ending on April 8th as the total solar eclipse passes through the United States and yes, hits a couple of towns named Nineveh. Here's a couple things to consider. Why does the hyper charismatic church people group, uh, and trust me, I'm pretty charismatic when it comes to things. I believe in prophecy, tongues, I believe in signs and wonders. But why does this camp truly believe that the global church movement centers and surrounds itself specifically in the United States? Did you know that total solar eclipses happen every 18 months? No, it's not always in the United States, but that should be something that rings a bell. Secondly, if it's a, truly a sign and a wonder from God, mm -hmm. don't you think it would be less calculated and on a calendar? Yeah. Because as Jesus says, no one knows the time. Yes, the signs point to the end times, but we've been in the end times. Guys, mm -hmm. seriously. Is the world end yeah, because the end times is not going to be like right away. Jesus is going to come in a day. It's going to be a course of years. If you haven't read Revelations, there's a long period of time where we have to be, where we have to wait, where the, the Bible talks about the bee. So this is like the beginning of it. Definitely the beginning, but it's not necessarily like the end. Um, Matthew 16.3 um, talks about how, and in the morning it will be a storm. It will be stormy today for the sky is red and threatening. You know how to interpret the appearance of the sky, but you cannot interpret the sign of the times. And the sign of the times is when God comes back, when Jesus is coming back. So we can interpret the appearance of the sky. We can interpret, you know, this, this astronomy and um, things like solar eclipses and, I don't know, um, like satellites being thrown out there that named after demons. We can interpret all that stuff, but we cannot interpret the sign of the times. And we won't know. It will be in a time where Jesus says he's going to come like a thief in the night where nobody suspects it. So I really believe that no one's going to suspect it. And I also think that this world has to get a lot more evil. And it already is. Um, Christians will be persecuted. There will be more hunger. There will be more... Um, just demonic energy in our world and right now that's not necessarily happening it's getting close to it but it will legit you will legit not be able to survive as a christian in those times and that's how we know that it's the end times right now you know we can survive there's places where we can still live and it's going to get harder and harder as we progress in the end times so i think that we have to start reading revelations more and not always going on tiktok or youtube for our um you know daily bible reader a daily dose of god we have to go ourselves and look in the bible and what's been written and what has not been changed but yeah i thought a solar eclipse was a really like cool experience i didn't really get to experience it much because i'm in la but i know in other parts like um for example i know that in guatemala where my mom is from that it was all dark and that they did experience that um but personally i didn't but i thought it'd be so cool to one day actually hopefully in my lifetime i'm still young so hopefully i could see another one and i can actually like really study it and enjoy it because i was at work most of the day but for those people who did experience it let me know what happened let me know um your thoughts on this whole end times prophecy on when do you think that jesus is coming back and what are you doing in preparation for that are you serving him and you know we have to keep we have to be watchful like we have to be watchmen always making sure that we are in good standing with the lord because we don't know when he's going to come and when he does come what is god going to catch you doing what is he going to catch you acting like are you godly or are you not you know you're either one or the other you know you can't pick and choose in the bible or be lukewarm because god will spit you out so i think this is a good way to remember that and yeah um i really just thought this was a great event and let me know your thoughts don't forget to like subscribe and i'm out